Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the first time that I'm filming in a while. Um, obviously, you know, last week, I wasn't posting, I wasn't filming. Um, I was really focusing all my efforts to researching and educating myself on everything that was happening. And then on top of that, I just like did not feel right to be posting my own stuff, even though it's my job. Like it just, it really did not sit right with me. Um, and I wanted social media to be, you know, used to actually be able to convey information and get resources out there and, you know, it, there's just so many better ways that social media could be used, especially um, with everything going on last week. But in this video, I'm really excited because I've been wanting to do this video for a while. Um, and, you know, my bronzy looks, I feel like you guys really like them. And when I did my glam bronzy look recently, I got so many messages asking for a more natural version. So like a beachy, kind of glowy, not full coverage, no foundation, no lashes. It's just more like the bronzy vibe, but like a quick and easy version that looks a lot more natural. So I decided that I would actually use, um, you know, a ton of black owned brands just because I feel that that is a way that, you know, I can contribute and I can use my platforms. Obviously, I've been trying to do so many other things as well, but you know, I really encourage you guys, whatever your work is, whatever your workplace is or your school or whatever in your field, like try to think of ways that can make a difference long term because it really doesn't end here. Like it's not it wasn't like a weekend of outrage or a week or two weeks of, you know, posting things or using social media in that way like that's great but it still keeps going like in my mind this is now a lifetime commitment to fighting for justice and fighting for equality and like i said it just it doesn't stop so whatever you know whatever your field is try to find ways to keep taking action to keep this momentum going because that's what we need for real change and you know i've talked about this a lot on my instagram but you know we have to be voting it's really important to make our voices heard because you know it, it does make a difference and i know that feeling of like well i'm just one person like i'm what is what's it gonna take what's it gonna make a difference if i go or if i don't go vote but it really does believe me like we need to put officials into place that have our nation's back for lack of better terms like it's just so important i can't stress it enough and also signing petitions it takes two minutes to sign a petition and if it's something that you feel like could make a change can change somebody's life or change the future for our children and the next generation and the next generation it is so important to take those two minutes to make a difference you know donate if you are able to i totally understand that not all of us are in a place to be able to but if you are donate to causes and organizations that really speak to you that makes a huge difference in any sort of movement um, and in ensuing change. And then on top of that, stay informed, you know, stay educating yourself, stay on top of everything that's happening. And because of that, I'm gonna actually be donating 100% of my AdSense from this video to um, Black Lives Matter organizations. I'm gonna pick a couple and donate to those. I've already donated to a couple, um, but through this video, we are going to be working together as a little community and giving back in this way. So I'm really excited for that. And, you know, like I said, I've been wanting to do a video like this for, for a long time now. So I'm excited. Although look what I did to my eyebrow. You guys, I literally cut off that little section right there. But it's okay. <laughs> it's all right because I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Brow MVP. I actually have not tried this yet, but... Ooh, oh, ooh. It's a little like nice thin brow pencil and then this side has like a little brow brush. So like I said, I haven't tried this particular product yet but I think we can all agree that, you know, Fenty has done such an amazing job at always, like not just when it was, you know, trendy or whatever. I hate using that word too, but like, you know what I'm trying to say. It's, they're not one of those brands that only did it because they felt like they had to. They were really being inclusive from the get-go. So I really wanna highlight that. And even when I do this natural look, I find it so important to have just a little bit of brow, brow shindigs going on, especially on this side when I want to like match this arch to this side. So I'm going in lightly, but I am filling them in. I really like this formula. It's nice and like hard, it's not too soft. 
And I do always take a little bit of concealer and clean that up. All right, brows done. And the concealer is from Oma Beauty um, and it's in the shade Honey Honey T1. I'm also gonna be using this under my eyes as well in just a second, but first, one of my favorite makeup artists, Danessa Myricks, um, she create she has a beauty line that I actually really like, and this is her beauty oil in the shade Blaze. It's a really nice bronzy metallic highlighter, and it's cool because it's like, um, it is. I totally lost my train of thought. It's an oil that has obviously some moisturizing and skincare benefits, but it has this like gorgeous metallic shine to it. Like, look at that. It's so pretty. So I'm just gonna take that and apply all over my face. And it gives a slight tint just because it is that nice bronzy shade, but it also gives like this like radiant, so pretty. Okay, I had to bring you guys into the light. I always change my spots because the sun's always moving, but like, I just wanted to show you guys this glow. It's so, so pretty on the skin. And I did use, even though I'm not using foundation, I used a foundation brush to apply, which, you know, this isn't clean. So it has a little, it had a little bit of foundation, like the slightest bit of foundation that helped me get just a little bit of evenness to the skin, I guess you could say. Love it. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go in with that concealer. Like I said, I'm using the Oma Beauty. It's the Stay Woke Concealer. And then even with a natural look, you do want to just like even everything out and uh, put a little bit down the middle of the nose. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press this in with my fingers. Whenever I do a more natural look, I honestly like the look of concealer pressed in with the fingers better because it makes it look a lot more skin-like. Yes, you lose a little bit of the coverage, but this concealer is really nicely like has nice coverage while still being pretty lightweight is what I'm trying to say. I love this color too. They make such good shades and they have a really nice like olivey undertone. And you can use whatever you have left over to press under the cheeks. I really like the look of this because it kind of, see how it helps snatch the cheeks but in such a natural way because you're not adding extra product. You're just kind of like tapping in the excess. I already feel like a whole new woman. I'm gonna take the same makeup brush that I used earlier. Oops, I got so much oil on this. Oh my gosh. Um, but it's the A Cosmetics um, number number seven Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection Brush. And I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in 04 Honey Glaze. And we're just gonna use this to warm up the cheeks. Especially since we didn't use like foundation, I feel like this just helps get some color on the cheeks. And I don't need to use uh, like powder or anything because I have quite dry skin, but if you do have oily skin, you may want to go in with a light powder. All right, same foundation brush, and I'm going in with the cream blush from um, that same Cheeks Out Fenty Beauty collection, and this is in the shade 02 Petal Poppin'. Just gonna place that right on the apples of the cheeks and blend backwards. All right, and then for eyes, I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows Eyeshadow Palette, and this is the shade three. It's kind of like the warm, kind of like warm neutrals type of vibe. And I'm gonna take this bottom right, yeah, bottom right shade, and just place a little bit on the outer corner in the shape of a wing. Um, oh my gosh, wait, ah! I forgot one step. I really like using this cream bronzer from Fenty as an eyeshadow, so I'll just take the slightest amount. You don't wanna use too much because sometimes it can start to crease, but I just take the slightest, slightest amount and add a bronzy tint to the eyes and I feel like this really helps tie the look together just because it's the exact same shade as like the actual bronzer that we use so pretty like this then I'm gonna go into the eyeshadow palette on an angled brush and make a small little line right on this outer corner and this just helps shape the eyes into a more like cat eye shape and with whatever's left on the brush I'm just gonna bring it into the inner corner but I didn't pick up any extra product because I don't want it to be too dark. Whoa. I don't know what I was doing. Just gonna curl my lashes and then pop on a little bit of mascara. And then I didn't have um, a lip pencil that was from a black owned 
beauty brand but i did have the colourpop times makeup shayla lip pencil which as you guys can see i've almost used up and i love it like it's such a good color and lip liner is a must like even if it's the natural like you cannot go without lip liner lip liner is by far my most used product like i literally cannot go one day without it because it just helps shape the lips i honestly think that if i had to choose between like lip liner and concealer for the rest of my life i would literally choose lip liner like it's so crazy i love lip liner so much and then I'm gonna have a little bit of lip balm and like blend out the edges a little bit. See what I was doing there? It just makes the lips look so like juicy and luscious when you pair a lip pencil with a lip balm. It just like so good for this like natural vibe. Actually, I'm gonna take a little bit of the beauty oil and put it on my decolletage. And that is actually the makeup done super quick super easy and we get that like bronzy vibe all right i had to come in my kitchen because my lighting's getting crazy but as for my outfit obviously gold jewelry always i just let my hair down to give it that like beachy vibe i really love just one tone to create the vibe so when i'm doing this bronzy makeup i love doing all nude or all tan um or all white so i went with all nude today and i wanted to do like a comfy but cute outfit this top is from um forever 21 actually like a long time ago and then some nice baggy corduroy pants these ones i got actually from drew house but i'll try to find something similar and link it down below if i can um and then obviously i just paired it with my air force ones you guys know the drill obviously all right guys so that is it i hope you guys like this video make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below anything you want because i always read through my comments and also i love chatting with you guys on the live chat i don't think i've ever said this in a video but i always do premieres for my videos because i genuinely just love sitting there and chatting with you guys and i'm really happy that in this video we can kind of like give back together so love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm switching back to Wednesdays and Sundays because you guys all requested that. So new video coming. I don't know when this is going up on Wednesday or Sunday, but new videos coming Wednesdays and Sundays from now on. So love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>